we got 458 and here 559 so from this to this is higher than from base to this terminal so the higher reading means this is a miter and the less reading this is collector so we have collector and here we have a miter base a miter is greater than base collector good we have 559 that means that this is the base so if we put the red probe in the base and the black probe in the emitter we should get a reading hi and welcome again we're going to see the transistors so let's get started so as you see over here all these are transistors okay i will explain to you what is the difference between mosfet and the transistor basically the same principle but i will explain to you all about it so as you see here for example if we take this so this is a transistor this is a mosfet transistor okay here we have the reference as you see this is the reference for this mosfet or transistor usually is connected to the pin to the central pin okay we will check all this using the multimeter so there is a lot of shapes and forms for the transistor as you see we have for example this is another transistor as you see okay and over here this is the symbol for this transistor as you see over here so this transistor is p in p as you see p in p in accordance with the symbol here i will explain to you what is the difference between p in p transistor and NPN channel okay NPN channel transistor and PNP channel transistor okay so we can find other in the shape as you see small transistors as you see okay so we find the, ref the reference for this kind of transistor is here okay is in this side okay so always the transistor our MOSFET has three terminals as you see over here three terminals okay but sometimes we can find other with more than three terminals for example for the MOSFET with eight terminals so for this as you see this is a bad mo a bad transistor as you see we have here normally we have here four terminals because this is not a transistor a normal transistor this is an ic okay we find this kind of ic in the flyback power supply okay so i will explain to you first what is the difference between transistor and mosfet okay and then we will use the multimeter in order to check the transistor and find out if it is good or not i will explain to you how to differentiate between a bad transistor and a good transistor now if the transistor is pnp or npn okay i will explain to you all this of course i will explain also to you the working principle of transistors and mosfets okay i want to add about this okay this is a transistor over here okay with this as you see this part this is a heat sink okay because when the transistor or the mosfet works it generates the heat so it needs a heat sink as you see this is the purpose of this part is to cool the cooling or to cool down is to cool down this transistor okay as you see so this is the symbol for the transistor as you see so we can do like this okay so this is the base okay this is the collector and this is a metro okay so b 
for base okay so and c for collector and a for emitter okay well here we will let this part for the mosfet okay so here transistor as you see okay here for transistor and here for the mosfet okay so as i told to you base collector and emitter okay so this is a transistor there is an arrow we should add arrow maybe the arrow can be in this direction or in the other direction i will draw another transistor as you see so we have always collector emitter and base over here and in this time the arrow goes in this direction but here goes in this direction as you see from here from emitter to the base and here from base to emitter okay <coughs> so this type of this transistor where the arrow goes from base to emitter this is npn okay this is n p n transistor okay when the arrow goes in this direction this is npn transistor and when the arrow goes in the in the other direction i mean from emitter to base this we call this pnp transistor okay I will show all this using the multimeter and we will differentiate between a PNP transistor and NPN transistor. Okay? Just step by step. Okay? So, the working principle. So, for example, if we, we want to know about this transistor, is it PNP or NPN? What should we do? using the multimeter so using the multimeter basically we can add other tanks here so basically we can add a diodes here so for the npn transistor okay we can add this this is a diode okay here this is a diode and we have here another diode as you see okay so this is npn here this is the negative terminal for the diode so we can put here n here we have the positive we have so here p and here this is other negative terminal for the diode so let's put n so this is npn that's why we call it we called it in pn so for this for p in p normally we have here p okay n p means the diode should be in this side okay and also like this okay so we have p as you see this is the anode and the cathode the cathode are gathered are connected together in the pnp transistor and for npn transistor the anodes are connected together this is just a theoretical okay so this is pnp so for the npn transistor if we use using the multimeter if we put the red probe here and the black probe here means if we put the red probe in the base and the black probe in the emitter we should get a reading about 500 300 or 700 ohms in the multimeter and when we switch this okay 
the black probe to the collector as you see because we have here negative we should see another reading but the opposite i mean if we put the black probe here and the red probe here or here we should not get any reading in the multimeter okay because here this is the positive here we have p but we put the black this is n so and here we have n and for the positive or the p in transistor if we put the negative as you see we have here n so let's put here n if we put the negative probe or the black probe in the base and the read probe here in the collector as you see we have here p we should get a reading in the multimeter and when we put in the other time the red probe in the emitter we should get a, a also reading if we change these probes like this so here we have in we we put the red probe here in the base and the black probe here we should get no reading also here no reading so let's check it out using the multimeter so let's put here the multimeter as you see here using this so first we should choose the buzzer option or the continuity option as you see over here okay this is the continuity option and then power on the multimeter okay and first let's now i don't know if this transistor is pnp or npn i should first check using the multi the probes so if i put for example this here so let's put the black probe here the red here no reading as you see in the multimeter no reading okay here no reading okay let's change the, the multimeter probes so let's check the red probe here and the black here uh, now we have a reading in the multimeter as you see about 459 let's check this terminal also good we have 559 that means that this is the base okay that means this is the base okay so we detect the base so this is the base so because we put the read probe here and we got we get we got read in here and here means we put the read probe in the base so this is p so as you see here we have p so this is n p n because we do like that as you see this is p okay we have red in here we have also red in here means this is npn okay if i change the props if i put the red or the black probe here we should not get any reading so let's check no reading no reading okay good so this this is a p in p transistor let's put it here this is a p in p transistor because when we put the the red probe here and the black probe here we got the reading also here but when we change the probes so we put the black here and the red here we didn't get any reading so this is n p n transistor okay so for example for this kind of transistor as you see over here the schematic of or its circuit diagram is drawn here in its body as you see we have here a diode we have the second diode so the cathode of these two diodes are connected together so here this is p and p okay but let's check this is p and p so if we put the black probe here like this and we put the red here 
one time and the red hair in the other time we should get a reading but if we put the, the red probe here and then put the black probe here in one times in the second time here we should not get any reading so this is p in p let's check it out so let's put the black probe here as you see because here we have okay and then the red probe here as you see we got two handles this is a reading and we if we change to this so let's always put the black hair and the red hair we have also a reading hair so this is what this is a pnp transistor here but for this this is npn transistor okay so by the way i want to add other things for example let's take this transistor so this is npn transistor okay so here we have the base okay here we have the base so what about the collector and the emitter is it this the collector or this so because this is the npn as you see here we have npn so the center is p npn so the positive so let's put the positive prop of the multimeter here in the okay in the base and then as you see once here we get, we got 458 okay 458 and here we got 559 so this from this to this is higher than from base to this terminal so the higher reading means this is emitter and the less reading this is collector okay so here we have collector and here we have emitter okay always so base emitter is greater than base collector okay why because the base to emitter is more doped with molecules and the base collector is the less is less doped the manufacturer of transistor use this principles the base emitter is more doped than the base collector that's why always the base okay the base to emitter as you see we have 560 or 59 and here we've we have just 458 so this is high than this so this is collector and this is emitter so let's check this also so so let me make let me adjust these terminals okay so here we have the base okay in according we have the base here in accordance to the circuit diagram okay so let's find out the collector and the emitter using the same principle always base to emitter is greater than base to collector in point or in terms of reading okay so this is p in p okay so here we should put the negative probe here so let's check it this two pins we have here 200 or even 199 and here if you change it to here we have 201 okay so this is base this is emitter and this is correct why because here we got 201 and from here to here 
we got 199 okay even if it is slightly the same but this is the emitter and this is the collector okay and also between this and this we got how many let's check it out another time so so we got 457 okay so we have here 457 okay what about between this and this let's check it out 559 okay so we have 559 so this value is greater than this as you see base emitter base emitter 559 is greater than base collector 457 the same principle here okay here we have base emitter 201 base collector 199 okay now the working principle of the transistor is this when a transistor gets a voltage here okay it leads the current to pass from collector to emitter okay when it gets a voltage here for example let's assume that it get 1.5 volt the current will pass to here okay this is the working principle of the transistor 